about it. This is a movie social. But this time around, we're going to change it a little. We're actually going to be anime so Because I finally, finally, finally got Rick to watch an anime. And we're going to review the first season of Fire. So I'm going to be your host, Steph. That's the main man, Rick, you over here today. Everybody. And then, as, as I stated, we're going to do a review on Fire Force. Fire Force basically is uh, taking in uh, a new future. Uh, and they're trying this fire, firefighter and the Fire Force. We are trying to discover which one can which one can be Can't hear me. <clears throat> All right, there you go, because you was getting distorted for a moment there. Okay. So I'll tell about that part. They're trying to figure out what's going on with human spontaneous combustion, where humans are literally just going to work, eat dinner, and they just bust out the plane. So, whatever. so the main protagonist, his name is Shinra. He is known as a... Uh, he has a, a superpower and literally he like had flame feet. He can do flame kicks, he can propel himself, fly, and run super fast by basically making it flame from my feet with a kick. He joins the fire force because he wants to essentially be a hero to the events that occurred when he was young. Joins the Fire Force, and as he joins the Fire Force, he finds out that things aren't what he thought they were, essentially, when it comes to combustion. They find out that some people are being manually made to be, you know, human combustion and stuff like that. They're finding out that the secret organizations um, within the Fire Force or the Force, underlying the Fire Force and stuff like that. We meet people in different captains and stuff like that. 30 people in there. Um, and he finds out later on, again, I'm not going to give you details of everything, just the main point. He finds out that his brother, who he thought who died in the fire, along with his mother, is actually alive. And his brother is working with this group called the Black Flag. His brother also had a third gen architecture or whatever. And the brother is, is a bad fireball. And his brother named Michelle. His brother, his power can he makes the heat around him so cold that he can jump high, which is dope. And you know, they have like a big battle, whatever the case may be. They make each other realize, like, oh yeah, you're my brother, this that the third. And then, you know, they continue on and find out that the whole truth about the fire, about how his mother possibly is alive, how his mother is demon down, stuff like that. And it's a really good show. Great fighting, great animation, great storyline. Season two starts this month, um, in July, whatever the case may be. So, I mean, like I said, it's a great show. And, um, I enjoyed everything about it. Rick, your thoughts? Well, first of all, you left out a little bit of meat in the middle right there, good sir. About how these fire companies don't all work together either. That is true. Some of them work each other. Yeah, exactly you're right. Some fire companies, well, some personnel and a few of these fire companies that's actually working with these uh, evangelists. The evangelist is the, is the main person. The white flag is their group. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, you know. So, yeah, I got yeah. you. Yeah, some of them are working with them. And then most of these fire companies are actually partners of companies, major co- corporations. So they don't they don't have any interest in really figuring out everything as a whole. They want to be the ones to for financial reasons only. So it made it kind of interesting because... You had the uh, fire company eight, where they're actually investigating all these fire companies to really get to the bottom of what's really causing this uh, 
spontaneous com human combustion, which kind of was an interesting take on things. Forget what time frame they set this in, but I know it's well into the future, very well into the future. Mm -hmm. And yes, again, do not watch this at home with kids around. This is not a kid's show. There's a lot of scenes in here that will have you like, they, they really just show this. But again, it was on Adult Swim, so. What scenes is that, though? Almost every other scene. Especially like what? With, with the kitty cat dropping everything, becoming completely new, somebody grabbing on her. And, so know. she has, I forget exactly what it's called, but I she has something. Power. Say that again? I said, I know it's a part of her powers when she feels embarrassed or something like that, surprised or something like that, and it happens. Yeah, where like, uh, she like her body part or her, her or whatever her, it is. Her clothing just disappears, basically. Yeah, but, yeah. But there's times where you remember when she fell, and her like she fell, but she I mean, fell when she on fight, uh, dude, Her ass was in his face, literally. Going to fight, y'all supposed to be fighting, and then really okay. <laughs> but. I will say this. I had one main issue with this show. Why did you change the intro? The first intro was fine. They did not need to change it and make it to some kind of punk action intro. Like, really? No. Y'all tried to make it look like uh, we watching a Chicago Fire, Chicago Mad, Chicago PD. No. We're not watching that. This is supposed to be Listen. the man. Listen. The original show. So... Do not change a song in the middle of a season. Animes stuff. do that. That's just something that animes do. Well, I'm putting it out there now. Stop it. Everybody. <laughs> Almost. Overall, I found it entertaining. 24 episodes. It was entertaining. So, to, to <laughs> about your song thing, right? That literally happens to almost every anime. You'll be in the middle of a season, you'll hear one song, and then the rest of the season you'll hear another song. I believe I'm mistaken. Dragon Ball Super, I don't know if you watch Dragon Ball Super or not, had five different songs, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, what? Five different songs. I'm mistaken. Thank you. Thank you. So. That's just something that happens in anime. They, they actually do indeed change their songs up. Um, but, you know. And I'm back. <laughs> All right. So, um, to wrap things up, I, it's just, like I said, I, fi I found this on Hulu. You can definitely watch it on Hulu. Um, you can probably watch it on Fur. It's definitely on Hulu. It's an adult swim. Season 2 starts in July next month. Um, and it must be on Adult Swim. Yeah, and most likely. Or you can, like I said, you can just watch it on Hulu. Um, it should, should be what's called a simulcast. Which means it's well, it's going to be interesting. Will Season 2 be on Adult Swim or will it be on HBO Max? Because remember now, HBO Max has almost every Adult Swim show that wasn't already uh, under a contract with another studio. I mean, that, that that's a possibility. I'm not sure. Role too. I'm not sure. We gotta definitely got to see, but definitely watch it. Season one is definitely going to be on Hulu. Um, I, I suggest you really watch it. I would give it. I would give it a nine out of ten. And again, this is just me. I never watched anime that had but for this premise, it was really good. I mean, it's, it's more, it's more kind of the top two that is both on. You have to be able to find a way 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 to find Bro, why can't you hear me? I'm being loud. It's like this. Dude. 
Oh my God! What did you not hear? That whole part. Oh, sorry. All right. So, as I stated, season two is next month. Um, we don't have an official date of when it comes out, but it did say it's coming out in July. The trailer is typing Fire Force Two, YouTube, Fox Trailer. Um, as I stated, I think the number ten. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I mean, it was great though. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten because of the damn intro. I will not let that intro stand. I don't like it. I fast forward it every time. Put back the original one. I like the original one, and that's how it should stand. But Do you know that season three is gonna have a new intro? Well, let's hope it's better than this garbage. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, as I suggested, uh, Fire Force, this is a new Fire Force again, season two, is going to drop in July. Um, so, leave us a like, just like, real quick. Tell your thoughts on this description of Fire Force if you can watch it. Subscribe, and hit the button, and I'll see you next time. Alright everybody, see y'all.